I tried the army and a few of these other regular days. Bloated? That guy looks bloated already? Oh, you haven't seen my dad, though. <laughs> You've stalked my dad on Facebook? Yeah. Ugh. Insights. Guy spends thousands of dollars trying to find a wife way out of his league overseas. Yikes. Anyone else watch? Oh God, Baja. We haven't. We are. We are. We have so much 90 Day Fiance to watch. After like before the 90 days, we stopped watching. We gotta watch more 90 Day Fiance. That There's shit's great. Funny about the tools of capitalism. MMO addicted with 10 bits. Who mentioned knowing a web page that signs an email up for a lot of shitty newsletters? I recall hearing about it, and I have a very racist professor to f over on my way out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Baha says, Hannah's so lucky she looks nothing like her dad. She looks so much like her mom's side of the family. Oh, boy. Who boy? Uh, for the record, the vast majority of my life growing up, I looked exactly like my dad, and that's what everyone would say. The hormones have very much helped me look a lot more like my mom. So. Never worked for me. My name's Bobby Cannon. I'm 46, and I work in human resources for the federal government. And my views are mine alone, not the government's. So this is the living room. Uh, this is where I spend most of the day when I'm at home. Got my, some of my collection. I tend to be a little bit shy, so I don't meet a lot of folks for relationship purposes. And it, to be, be honest, you know, I'm a little bit... Oh, God, he owns like... A I've I've seen these steampunk guns before because I, I I've bought some you know my D and D character does you know they're they're like a steampunk character so I've bought like steampunk props before those guns are really expensive these I've seen them online they're incredibly expensive and he owns like all of them it's wild heavier so that is something that is a real negative in, in the United States. All right, guys. Well, you've now survived two socials. I congratulate all of you for going to the third and final social here in Hirasan. It's going to be over before you know it. Nothing really matters. Just go up, talk to whoever you want to talk to, make something happen. Funny I mean, you know, don't sit there. If there is a hell, for me, I think my hell is going to be being trapped on a bus on a trip with a bunch of these creepy, wealthy-ish, older men trolling Asia or Eastern Europe for mail-order brides. That's, 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 I think, pretty close to the worst possible situation that I would want to be around. Wind Chanter with 100 bits. Um, my dad made me work on his pot farm to sell fuel. His heroin addiction, oh, Want on his pot form to help fuel his heroin addiction, the same guy who wouldn't watch Deep Space Nine because Cisco was black. Needless to say, I didn't really talk to my dad. Yikes. That's a lot of yikes. Be shy, just go up and do it because you'll probably never see her again anyway. She lives in the Ukraine. This is your opportunity. This is it. <sighs> it's the last city, and I'm down to one. To be honest, this is probably the one that my eye always came back to her name is julia <laughs> she works in a travel agency um uh incredibly beautiful we've been writing to each other for it's got to be seven eight months now we'll meet at the social i'm coming to basically try to sweep her off her feet do you have pictures of her yeah how old is she 26. she was a little bit under my uh target age uh -huh. This is the one from the website where she looks like Angelina Jolie. Is that not just Angelina Jolie? That looks like Angelina Jolie in a movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> she does. How can you go wrong there? <laughs> Something a little special. All the other guys, they go out and buy Gold roses. rose. I wanted to get something that would last. Oh. Uh, as long as the relationship. So. Don't do this. Come on. You've not even met her. It's so sad. It's so. 
this gives me a lot of conflicting emotions because on the one hand, the kind of person who's going to go around the world to go and find a bride is someone who is incredibly desperate and they're probably hopeless for finding someone in their home country. Otherwise, why would you do it? But on the other hand, they're also aware of this desperation to the extent that they are willing to take advantage of someone in a country that isn't potentially as prosperous as the United States, which is why a lot of the whole mail order bride things happen because they want to marry an American and come and get a visa and get married and become a citizen, right? So he recognizes his own desperation and then he chooses to take advantage of someone else's desperation elsewhere in the world, even though she probably wouldn't be interested in him normally. Because he is American, there's inherent value in being with him to get that citizenship, and that is disgusting. So... Ah, One gold rose. Hopefully it gets through this and everything will be okay. I'll be either really happy or uh, really sad. This is like prom for old guys. That's the way I'm looking at it, which is nice since I never went to proms. <laughs> nice, really nice. Thank you. I'm sort of hoping to have a table off by ourselves the whole night, and we'll have a translator because she, she doesn't speak English. I don't do, do Russian, so we can just. Treat that as our first date. Every time I see someone with black hair walk in the door, my heart goes, oh, oh it's not her. Oh, not her. When I did my search, I looked for certain specific things. I like women that have black hair, blue eyes, people that There's are smart, that are independent, someone that's going to make me want to be a better me. You remember this part of Orange Here's is the New Black? Ooh, I don't get that reference. I missed like the last two seasons of Orange is the New Black, so I guess I don't get it. Hectic moment is gonna happen any minute. Yeah, I'm hoping. When the guys come over, uh, they have their own set of expectations, which may be on target and may not be on target. But they think, oh, gee, I've been writing to uh, Irina, Svetlana, Elena. I've been writing to all these women, and they write to me, and I wrote to them. I told them I was coming over, and maybe that works, and maybe that doesn't. There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. She'll be waiting for her all that time. Oh, you're talking about Mr. Healy and his Russian mail-order bride. Uh, he doesn't speak Russian either. That, oh, yeah, that is a thing. I totally forgot about that. The creepy fat guard had a mail-order bride. The lesbian denied one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hi. Um, are the women checking in with you, too? Oh, oh, okay. The Shadow Witch says, You piqued my interest. I hadn't thought about it till you mentioned it, but just as I looked you up from years ago when I was watching six or so years and haven't noticed the change. Wow, you look way different seeing you so often. I guess it's hard to notice. I don't feel like I've, I've changed in appearance that much, uh, but other people disagree, so I don't know. I really don't. I see myself every day, though, so. No English. Perfect. I thought she was going to show up. I really did. Um, so I made sure I was staying off by myself because I didn't want to have to fend off other women trying to keep them away while I'm trying to wait for her. You know, I wanted to come in here to this place to meet this person. And now we don't, I don't know what's going on. Is she going to show up? like anybody would feel <laughs> definitely not good so i had a conversation with john this morning I said you know the, the lady i'm talking to online the lady i'm i'm writing to works full-time in, in a tourist agency monday through friday half a day saturdays and isn't a student and the person that max is talking to is a student half time i said you know i've been writing to this lady you know 
almost daily for, for months now. Emails are $10 a pop going and coming. So oh, he's getting scammed hard. So I'm probably out 10 grand. 10 grand, my goodness. Like, you could have found someone for free in the United States. You're getting scammed. Please, go back home. Maybe get on, I mean, and again, like, looks aren't everything, but just for health reasons. Maybe go on a diet. Go out on some dates. Like, like get a, oh boy, I don't even know what kind of dating profile people use nowadays. Uh, but either way, uh, you're gonna have more, more, more luck at home, and it's not gonna be a scam, and you're not gonna get, you know, $10,000 out. Uh... My biggest fear is that it was a scam. That she's writing to 50 or 60 guys, and she's getting a cut of the fees. He would have luck on Grinder, probably. Johnson, he's... Probably, but I don't think he's interested. Concerned about that, too, so he's trying to find out what's really going on. As he said, you know, well, there's other women to meet. I said, I didn't come here to meet other women. That's not what I was here for. Banks just called me, told me that she'd be down there at 5 o'clock in the lobby. So. They finally got a hold of uh, Julia. And she is supposed to be coming here in about half an hour, hour, uh, for our first date. I have to go in there. Approaching it like she's honest and, and all that, and hoping that I'm not being screwed. So, and it's been hours. I've been sitting here thinking the same thing over and over. How do I know? There was another person on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days. I forget his name, but um, he was also probably being scammed <laughs> by someone because they charged them. Not only charged them to get in contact with them, but also he was sending them money, you know, via some app or something pretty consistently and giving her gifts. How, how do you know? How do you tell? And I learned from that. I looked into it because on the 90 Day Fiance like subreddit, they, they talked about this. I guess there are uh, there are legitimate, like mail order bride companies that you can go to and they'll like you know try and find you and match you up with someone who wants to go to the united states and become a citizen by marrying you that's a thing however in the wake of like a ton of people wanting to do this nowadays for some reason i don't know why um a bunch of scam companies have also popped up where again they'll like charge you just to get in contact and email with the girls and it's like a scam and they'll they'll have girls and it might not it probably isn't even all all women to be completely honest it's probably just people behind a keyboard talking to 20 30 guys a day and they're just getting money from these really really desperate people it's very depressing that's right capitalistic Cassandra333, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. We've been writing for about seven, eight months now. I was wondering what your feeling is on the relationship. I'm surprised she showed up. We've been writing for so long, I was hoping that we'd be able to move on. I came here to see you. That's the only reason I came, was to see if, if you wanted to move maybe further in the relationship. Do you feel like she was the woman that was writing to you? Uh, I had some questions and doubts, um, because the pictures I showed her were pictures of things that she's seen before. The house, the yard, my work. This happened on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days, too, um, which I think is part of the scam company. They don't just pull photos, like, off of, you know, the internet, because you can reverse image search that, you know what I mean, when they're catfishing people. So they actually pay, usually, you know, beautiful young women to come in, and they'll use their photos, um, and they'll pay them for that. 
and then they'll have people who aren't those women talking to the men in order to get their money and stuff, and then as part of using their photos, those women are entitled to a cut of the scam, basically. It's a catfishing industry, more or less, and all these people are making money off it in places like Russia and Eastern Europe, and it's very interesting. Very unethical, but very, very interesting. So, like, when she shows up for stuff like this, she's probably never talked to him before. She's probably never talked to this guy ever. He just saw her picture associated with an account that someone else was using and pretending to be her. It's really messed up. People in black. NASA. NASA. This is actually pictures from the last shuttle launch. Wow. If she wasn't the one writing the letters, does it matter? It would have. Um, and it probably should. But what I don't want to do is for me to overthink and I cause the problem that isn't really there. Yeah, I'll probably wrap up after this because video and then get like, ready for D&D. I can out of my mind. Uh, something that's special and beautiful and unique shouldn't be alone. They should come in Paris. And I was hoping I may not be you know, beautiful and that unique, but I'm hoping that maybe There's we can be a pair. The <laughs> you are, you are. I was supposed to do Randy... Yeah, maybe we'll do a special... What's tomorrow? Thursday? Tomorrow, maybe we'll just do a special stream where we just look at a bunch of stuff James Randy's done. Very inspiring. Do you want to come to America and marry me? Let's move into this direction. Okay. <laughs> Can I, please? <laughs> so what was your impressions of tonight? I think it went really well. I think I'm engaged now, so I would have to say it. it's going really well. Did you get her email address? Uh, no, got to still go through the, the service because I need to have the translations. Huh. So we'll go through that. Uh, I can ask her. Th Scam! Through that if she wants to give me her email address. I don't know if she has one. Uh, didn't even think to ask. A little preoccupied. Mm. You're engaged. I'm engaged. <laughs> feelings i mean sort of good that you know i met her uh, she's very was a very attractive lady thinking that maybe something's going to happen but still had that nagging feeling that something was going to something was wrong i mean you left thinking you were engaged i was i left thinking that we were going to get married <sighs> when i got back we were corresponding very very frequently but Every time I would ask her something personal, she just never answered the question. That's right, capitalism. So it again. really started bothering me. Cryptosporidium four five seven. Thank you I'm for done. following. I understand that reference. <laughs> so she sent me one. Hire oh, a private investigator. Funny, you know, I wasn't the person she thought I was. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> it was over. So why did you propose to her, knowing that something was wrong? What was I going to lose <laughs> at that point? You don't think that he was misled or scammed? I don't think so, but I'm not 100. I, I'm just not 100 percent sure yet. You know, I have my doubts. Um, so we removed the woman from the site. So we have taken her off. You know, if it's, if she wasn't legit, he still hasn't made anything right by me. You know, I spent thousands of dollars. You know, just for the trip. Uh, letter translations and photos thousands of dollars out of pocket for this all i can say is that we worry about us we worry about a foreign affair and we always try to do the best we possibly can uh, for our clients we always try to act ethically if we find out, <laughs> we oh resolve. shut up there's always going to be problems but i think the measure of the company is how the company deals with the problems
after all this, I got depressed for a while. Uh, it really it definitely affected me. I sat around, I was actually went and got some uh, buprofen to help with that. Uh, finally worked through it. Pretty much stopped trying to date anything like that until just recently. I figured I might try it one more time. This is her, huh? Are you yeah, still doing her. it? No! It's not the same as Julia, so I'm getting personal responses. And, and the cat's like, dude, really? Actual. Yeah, it looks like someone's actually putting some thought in Like, it. I still feel bad for this dude, but at a certain point, if the stove's hot and you keep going back to touch it, even after it's burned you multiple times, at what point do you just go, all right, come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is the future of incels, and it's so sad. This is the present of incels. The email. Do, do you ever just feel like you're just writing a photo? Yeah. It's a rainy Jeez. night in Kine <laughs>